It looks like new video cards from Nvidia are going to start to roll out again and they're still going to be called the same as they were before. The question is, are these cards really going to be good for mining and will they be worth it? Let's find out on that Teco Guy. So new video cards are being released but they're being named the same like RTX 3070 and RTX 3080. So a few articles online and it's very important that you're aware of these. So Galax launches the GeForce RTX 3060 and RTX 3060 Ti. LHR which stands for limited hash rate with the NVIDIA cryptocurrency mining limiter. So what's going to happen here is that basically they are changing the GPU SKU which is going to be updated to GA104-202-A1 which will be dubbed LHR. Okay, so it's a little bit of tested. So effectively, this is still going to have the same specifications as the other cards but it's going to have 50% reduction in hash rate similar to what happened with the RTX 3060 but that was unnerved now the difference with these is that the actual physical chip is going to be replaced so it's going to be obviously harder in order to remove the limiter on this but the underlying specs are all the same so i think it won't make that much of a difference for gamers but that is still yet to be seen as well but for mining it's definitely going to limit your hash rate by 50 percent now, the question is, they're going to be named RTX 3060 Ti, 3070, 3080 like before. You're going to get half the hash rate. So on RTX 3080, where before it used to do even 100, and I've got a palette which does 104 plus mega hash, that is going to be limited down to more than 50% in this case. So if it's going to be 43 mega hash, the question is going to be, how much is the card going to cost? Is it going to be worth it? How long will you take to ROI and get your investment back? And another article also states here that the RTX 3080 with limited hash rate might cost around $700, but I don't know if that's going to be the case really. Um, this is aimed mainly for gamers and so that crypto miners do not buy these cards. The important thing is that you realize that the name is still going to be the same. So be aware what you're getting. Make sure if you can check the SKU, the GPU SKU, or if you can check that it has LHR, make sure that you make note of that because you don't want to be going out buying cards with the mindset that the card is actually going to mine like the previous RTX 3080s or 3070 or 3060s did. Now, it's not just Galax that are doing this, but it is also MSI. It also looks as if MSI is preparing to refresh its lineup with the new LHR cards. It seems that if MSI is using the plus Monica to denote which cards have Nvidia's hash limiter. So be aware of that as well. According to this article here, the cards might be released around mid-June, um, but it is not yet confirmed. A new fresh batch of silicone is being released in mid-May. This could position Galax H LHR's GPUs for release in June, but we don't know if that's going to be the case or not just yet. So if we do a quick calculation, and here it's saying an RTX 3080 with limited hash rate is going to be 43 mega hash, okay? So if we go to good old what to mine, and we here have already done it, ET hash for Ethereum, it's going to be 43 mega hash. Let's say it's going to still burn the same wattage as the previous RTX 3080 used to burn. If we calculate the costs here, I'm just leaving the cost of electricity at default, it would still make around six dollars six us dollars a day on average mining ethereum with the limited hash rate at the time of this video at the time of the ethereum price which currently is sitting at almost four thousand us dollars if we were to calculate seven hundred dollars division by the six dollars let's just say 625 after a default cost for electricity that's going to take 112 days to ROI. So that's going to be 
a little over three months to do an ROI on the original investment. I mean, would I buy this card myself? Yes, I think I would. So I don't really think it's going to stop miners from getting these cards. And also keep in mind that they are putting this hash limiter on Ethereum mining so we don't know what's going to happen with the other algorithms because the other algorithms which are less memory intensive might actually work better. Algorithms like for example Octopus and coins like Conflux. So we don't know what's going to happen there either. So guys, this was just a heads up. Make sure you're aware of what you're purchasing. If you see these cards hitting the shelves, these are the Galax, but MSI also gonna follow suit and probably other major board manufacturers will also do the same thing. Just be aware of what you're getting and make sure to check those SKUs as it states down here. You've got the SKUs, how they're being updated right here. I'm gonna put a link to these articles down below as well so that you can have a look at these. I hope you found this video useful. Please do smash that subscribe button and thank you to all of those that have subscribed already. Hit that notification bell for more great Teco videos and hit the like button. Let me know your comments and what you think about this in the comment section down below. Until next time guys, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.